That's what they're doing. What, they're going to Facebook? Uh, yeah. Da, da, da. They were just getting to get a good look at you. Oh, sorry. Are we hooked up? Are you sure? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> See, they've all missed you, Dills. I'm just going to leave the camera looking at you for a few minutes. <laughs> look at that first shot. <laughs> ah, you're gone. <laughs> Trump till coming. Hi, Maura. Hi, Darren. Is that one there now? Sarah, Sarah Janet, is it? Yeah. Uh, Cormac, hey guys. Whistler, yeah, I, you know, I was kind of whistling earlier and then I stopped, Nadine. Hi, Paul Dills. Hi, Donna. Good morning from Ohio, Linda. Fantastic. Lovely to see you. I see Dills. Lovely to see you. Hi, Hi. Uh, Sean, you love this. Hi, Paul and Dills. Great to see you. <laughs> 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 Thank Caroline. What are you up to? That's a good question. Because uh, those of you tuning in, that's we weren't expecting anybody. Okay, Shani. Uh, the boy Dills, should I say? The boss man Dills, you're dead right. Who put that one? Cormac, you're dead right. Dills is the boss, that's it's all about those Dills. This is the Dills show. Guys, how are we all doing today? Just because they want to be able to see it. Shani, what are we looking at there? Oh, we're a bit behind. So we'll turn that there. Uh, love a quick and, cook, quick and easy pasta. Uh, hi, Paul. I love cooking quick and easy pasta dishes. I made one last night for dinner. Lovely, mate. Uh, hi Paula lads, uh, hi Paula, uh, from, where's that, hi from Clifton, hi Teresa, from sunny Caradon Shore, apparently we're getting the sun later on as well, so we can't wait, hi Dills and Paul, greeting from Spanish Point, Kate, cool, yeah, we've been out in the garden all day, Dills, weren't we, yeah. um, Sean had a load of homework, so we were out doing loads of work, we're covered in crap, and then I said we cook lunch, and I said to myself, we haven't done a cook along live in ages. Now it's not really kind of a cook along live, but it'll be up there on the video and you'll be able to see how to how to do it at any stage. And it's a simple pasta lunch. And the surprise is, I think it's actually going to be, dare I say it, Jones? Vegetarian. I know. Vegetarian. It won't be vegan. We won't go that far. But I think it's going to be vegetarian because we're just using up a few bits and pieces in the fridge. So what I have is a pot. Actually, shall I follow me over here? I'm going to see this too. Caroline said, oh my dad, Sarah Sean. <laughs> Don't worry, Caroline. You know us by now. We love taking the piss out of everything. Uh, so I'm always telling you to cook extra pasta. So I cooked up a lot of pasta there today, this morning. So here's what I want to show you. If you leave it in the fridge, right, it gets a bit gloopy, sticky together like that. That's perfectly fine. So I'll just show you what we're going to do. So we take maybe, say, about two handfuls a portion at the rate, the rate that guys are eating. And we're just going to rinse it. Dills, any comments coming in? You're in charge. And uh, Linda said hello from Cork. Lovely, Linda. How are you doing, guys? We missed you, Isn't that, didn't we, Dills? We were only talking about it. One. We miss everybody. We miss, miss the interaction. So I said, well, we're cooking lunch, so let's just film it. So, and then, so it's a little bit sticky, right? So now we just give it a simple rinse under cold water, and that's the stickiness gone. What's the angle, Dills? Bang! And the dirt is gone. And the dirt is gone. Okay, so just give it a now rinse. That was literally cooked this morning. Only takes two seconds, and then just get rid of all our water. Lovely, that's our pasta sorted. Okay, Shani, follow us back over here. Now, Dale's tea towel, buddy, we're actually not really prepared because we hadn't planned on doing this. We did a cook along live last night, thank you, kind sir. We did a cook along live last night for a huge uh, American client that we have that brings a lot of business into the, into the restaurant, they asked me would I mind doing it and be duly obliged. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, it's on the page, the link is into it, okay, because I made one or two things in it last night that I'm going to show you, hence why we are using up what's in the fridge. So we are turning on our pan and I've got beautiful garlic butter that we make in the restaurant, so it's garlic, onions, sweated down, herbs, mix in with the butter and then Worcestershire sauce, that goes in, so just chuck it all in. You know it's my Netherlands, never mind quantities. Dills, it's been a while, tell me, butter for flavor? Oil for heat. Oil for heat. So we're gonna throw in just a little bit of olive oil as well so to stop the butter burning. Beautiful. Any comments there, Shani, coming in? Uh, Katie 
just said thanks for the positive hello to Cameron and Sean also. Thank you, Kate. Now, Sean, you feel special. You feel <laughs> special, now, Sean. Sean is one of these TikTok and Inge uh, <laughs> writers. He'll be out of TikTok later on to his next <laughs> time. He didn't say hi to me, TikTok. <laughs> okay, mushrooms. One pot of mushrooms. Bang it in. Now, the key to this to get amazing flavour out of it is we want to sweat them down, okay, and concentrate. Get rid of mushrooms are about 90% water, Dills. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting fact for today, you learn an awful lot, lads, not just cooking when you're cooking, you learn a lot from useless information. Mushrooms are about 90% water, maybe even more. So you want to sweat them down and evaporate the water and concentrate the flavour. Great tip. Okay, have we heat on this? We do. Uh, what have we put in this? Oh yeah, we've got one red onion. Bang the whole thing in. Lovely, jubbly. And guys, just want to say, last week we did the pop-up deli and the support from the locals of Kerry obviously particularly Killarney, was just nuts. It was far exceeded our wildest imagination as to what we were going to do. Every single day. Wednesdays were sold out in three hours. Friday, sold out in 45 minutes. It was nuts. Saturday, crazy busy again. And we're back open tomorrow, doing all the same deliciousness, but I put a little post as well. We decided to keep going with the 10% discount for all frontline personnel. So nurses, uh, fire brigade crew, ambulance crew, and guards, 10% for the entire duration of the pop-up deli. Why Dills? Because the, they're saving us. They're saving us, and they're just freaking deli. So we're gonna keep going with that 10% discount for all frontline staff, just as a token of our appreciation for the amazing work you guys are doing out there. Anyway, Dills, cloves of garlic, what are we gonna use? Back of the knife. Back of the They've missed you, Dills. I've missed you. Yeah. But I know I'm living with you, but I've, I've missed this kind of setup. It's been a while since we've done it. Okay, sorry, Dills. We missed Sean too. Yeah, but it wouldn't happen without our cameraman, guys. It wouldn't happen. So back of the knife, four or five cloves of garlic dills. Do you know what you do, buddy? Get the pepper milk, and we are gonna throw in, let's say, twenty-four twists of the pepper milk, please. Okay. So this is just a great idea. Most of you won't have these ingredients to hand today, but it's an idea. Think it forward as a quick lunch or something, a quick snack to make. Um, at any stage, and it's just great, it saves a lot of hassle, and it is simply tasty, delicious. And you know what, lads? We're pretty much winging this as we go along. Which is the beauty of cooking, Dale, isn't it? Yes. Any comments coming in there? Jesus, there's loads of you watching. I thought we respected nobody. Uh, thanks for the front care. Delaware. Where was that for the front line care? Thanks for the front line care. Well, you guys are amazing, lads. It is, it is as simple as that. So, someone there from Delaware and Newark. Cool. Okay, so four or five cloves of garlic or whatever amount you want. Shawnee, have a quick look in the pot there. Show the amazing people at home what we are doing. Can you see that screen? They see what you see, don't forget. Claire said hi from Jacksonville, Florida. Claire, how are you? Florida. We were there, Dills, when we were there? Years ago. In uh, Orlando, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so recap. Mushrooms, onions, garlic. Okay. Garlic butter, olive oil, okay. pepper. Okay, so... What's the most important thing in cooking, Dills? Seasons. Seasons, seasons. Look at you all excited, huh? I think you missed it too, huh? You missed it too. So a good pinch of salt. Now, we're gonna sweat down, Shani, look into that pot. And don't get tempted and going, oh, it looks cooked. You want that to really reduce down, really concentrate in flavor. That's the key, and that is the difference. If you throw in your pasta now, yeah, it's gonna taste lovely, but it'll only taste lovely of the garlic butter and the salt and the pepper, it won't taste lovely of sweet uh, sweet onions, our nice concentrated flavour of mushrooms. So give it a minute, don't panic, give it a minute. Now, how else are we doing? Hi Susan, uh, hi, was that Kira or Claire? Kira. Kira, I need glasses, that's. Uh, hi Martina from Kilorga, uh, hopefully I get a chance to pop into your deli soon. Please do, Martina, it'd be great to see you. Um, uh, but, but, ooh, good, have, have I lost weight? <laughs> Why are you all laughing? What do you mean? Have I lost weight? I don't know if I've lost weight or if I just feel freaking amazing by being back in work. Oh, you see that? What do you mean? It is there. It is. It is there. It is there. See that? Thought I made it up, did you? It is shite. Okay. So a little bit of mixed herbs, oregano, Italian seasoning, dried herbs. We don't care. We cook with what we've got. And we use our Brain. correct. Where did you see that? <laughs> Shirley, I'm going to put in two pieces of pasta now for this. Get into the pot there, champ. Show the amazing people at home. 
what we've got. Now, if you wanted to make, oh, chili, I forgot my chili. If you wanted to make it non-vegetarian, Dills, let me, what, what would we do? Put meat in it. Put meat in it, simple as. So now you could throw in a little bit of chicken. Actually, you know what I could put it? No, I'm gonna keep them for dinner tonight. I've got some lovely prawns. Don't put prawns. Uh, that, I made a lovely guacamole last night there. You've seen us make that. We've got some lovely prawns from the wonderful people in Star Seafood. I bang on about them all the time. I'm keeping them for dinner tonight. I bang on about the guys at Star Seafood all the time. Because like the frontline staff, I'm a firm believer. Champion the guys who are champions. Go down to Florence, go down to Portrick and ask them for the prawns Paul was cooking with. They'll get you some of the finest prawns out there. Okay, a little bit of chili because look, this was kind of, look at that. It was kind of getting dry and gone off. It's probably been in my fridge about a week or two. It's perfect. So just bang it in for a little bit of heat. Oh, it says who people are like the top fans. It says what? It says people are like who are the top fans on this. Oh yeah, cool. I think there's a thing on Facebook. Oh jeez, I nearly bloody itched myself after going to chili. That would have been, just there it is. Oh. Oh, no, just on the side there, the cheek. Mm. Ah! <laughs> now. Do not put a chilly hand to your face, guys. If you do, you will know why I'm telling you not to do it. Get into the pan, champ. Show them nice and slow, because they can see it. So I'm throwing in a chilli. Look at that. If I had more chilies, I would... Shani, what's that noise? Get off the stool. You can hear it. I think you're farting or something. Okay, so look at this. Didn't that sound right? Yeah. Didn't that sound right? Okay, so look, get into that pan. Already, this smells Fantastic. Like I was saying, if you wanted to add chicken, add it in now. If you wanted to add in your prawns, add it in. Now keep the prawns maybe for another minute or two, they cook quick. Uh, or sometimes you might just have a little packet of salami. Bang that in now. Like, oh, salami would be nice. Look, salami would be nice. Uh, if you add some... Um... Oh, it's hot. I know. <laughs> Did you try and do something when I wasn't looking? I can't even miss it. Yeah, well, hold it. Use your brain, learn. Hold the handle with, your, with that. How's the handle? Because it's copper, and copper conducts heat. You know what that means? You should be paying attention in school, you know what that means. Give it a good stir, it shiny into the pot again. And remember what I said, guys, don't rush it. You're tempted to throw in your pasta because you're kind of going, yeah, but the mushrooms look cooked. They are kind of cooked, but we want them getting that beautiful kind of really concentrated flavor in the mushroom. I'm not on the grape juice anymore. Maybe that's why I lost weight. Did you know? <laughs> um, I don't know what this crap is. Sparkling water with a belly gown. Okay, so if you think it's getting too vigorous in the pot, just turn on the heat and take your time with it. Take your time. So, what do we got, honey? And they can't give us prawns. What is that from Paul? And they can't give us the prawns. Uh, you sure he's, you have them eaten. Top work, Shawnee. See, Sean, they do love you as well, Shawnee. It's not just a deal, show. Look now, look into the pot again, guys. Look into the pot. Beautiful. Look at the difference. The water is evaporating. The smell is simply amazing. Can I tell you something out to me now for a sec, champ? That, on its own, a little bit of toasted focaccia or ciabatta bread or something like that, you have the most amazing mushroom bruschetta. Okay? If you put a little bit of goat's cheese on top under the grill, something like our wonderful friends in St. Tola's goat's cheese. A little bit of goat's cheese on top under the grill for maybe 30 seconds, you have a beautiful. What have you got, Dills? Uh, With what? Cheese. And mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms. Okay, simple, absolutely simple. Now, last night for our American friends, we made a wonderful sun dried tomato paste. Okay? This is about half that container of sun-dried tomatoes with about a dozen green olives, two cloves of garlic, what else did I put in there? That was it. And blitzed it, just blitzy, 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 a little bit of olive oil, okay? And parmesan cheese, parmesan cheese into it, okay? So this is beautiful, again, on a bit of toast, fantastic on it, I put it on top, a piece of salmon last night, any piece of fish, but we're throwing it into el pasta, like so, two big dollops, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Now, because of the cheese being in that, It'll burn a little bit, so you've got to keep an eye. You've got to keep an eye. Into the pot, honey. So look at the way it's getting all pasty, pasty, pasty. So we want to cook that out and dry it out and for it to come up to temperature. See the way as soon as I put something cold into the pan, kids, everything slows down. So that's why you want to get it back up nice and hot, nice and hot. Oh yeah, pizza, ah, pizza. How is it? Pasta, thank you, Dills. Microwave, two minutes. 
give it a quick head start. So there's a little bit of water in there anyway. So just two minutes in the microwave, really speeds it along. Like so. So if you're cooking this at home and you don't have the paste, don't worry about it. If you do want to make the paste, then do. It's fantastic. It keeps for about a week. Two minutes. Two minutes and we're good. Dill's clean up as we go along, my friend. I don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, wiping, wiping, wiping. Dill's killing the cleaning the floor later on. A little bit of cream. Look at this. Back inside. Shiny, quick hit. Look into the pot. See the way it's all drying. It's all drying like so. Now, it, look, it's not vegan food, obviously. If you want to make it vegan food, well then you obviously know what to do. Leave out your butter and your cream. But, we're, I, I think, uh, huh? It's no fun. Well, that's the, yes, I agree with you. We don't think it's any fun, but if you think it's fun, oh, yeah, live in vegan land. We don't. So, it's actually a miracle that we're doing vegetarian in the first place, isn't it? So, a little bit of cream, and then we just made it a creamy mushroom sauce. Nice and gentle dills with the noise you go out of hard, you flick it all over the place. Now we are going to grate up a little bit of parmesan cheese. I love it till you swear we practice those cops into your elbow. I'm grating up a little bit of parmesan cheese. You know me, I love my parmesan. How are we looking, buddy? Into the pot there, Shani. So it looks like it's kind of getting a little bit oily on you, but once that heat gets into the cream, it'll all kind of emulsify. Now, absolutely beautiful. Adults, you want to make it a little bit exciting when we start it off, throw in a little bit of vodka. Flambe all that off and a little bit of vodka. Penny mm, pasta alla vodka. That sounds Italian, doesn't it? Okay, absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Fantastic dills. 10 out of 10 for stirring. Shining into the pot. Look at that. Beautiful consistency because once the pasta gets into that, it'll kind of the starch in the pasta kind of naturally thickens it up anyway. If you really want to thicken it up, if I want, if I have it, actually I do have it in the fridge, I could add a little bit of, you know, bursant cream cheese, I should show you. Uh, but that looks fine the way it is. It's a brilliant way to thicken up a cream sauce. I'm not plugging them, I'm plugging any cream cheese. But that's what we have all the time. Uh, There's lovely garlic cream cheese. If you use Philadelphia, any kind of cream cheese, you could use your kind of goat's cheese, the, the nice log as well. Take it in, that will thicken it up. That's that, give it a good head start. What do you think of this kind of dish, guys? Let me know. Anybody like this kind of stuff? Zena said, just turned in, glad to see you cook along again. Tuned yeah, in. Yeah, we didn't, huh? Tuned in, not turned in. Tuned in. Uh, we, it's not really a cook along live in case anybody's going, whoa, you never told us. But we just said we're, we're making lunch. It's going to be a fantastic. Get into that pot, Sean. See the way that all the cream is now emulsified with all the oil and everything? It hasn't split. Don't need to panic. You swear we knew what we were doing. Isn't that right, Dills? Um, it's not really a cook along live. It's just we said we're making lunch. Um, so we thought we'd show you what we're doing. A little squeeze of lemon juice. Look at that, beauty, beauty, beauty. Lovely jubbly. I'm not a million miles off of dills. Into El Frigo, por favor. Into the sinky. Lovely. I'm gonna throw in just a pinch more of my Parmesan cheese. That'll also thicken it up. But also make the sauce really, really nice. So keep your heat low. Everybody makes this massive mistake of having the heat way too high. When you're heating something, like our pasta's going in now, we don't want it red hot in there. We want it slow and bring up the temperature nice and slow. So bang in your pasta. Come sa, come see, come sa. Look at that, guys. Lovely dills sink. And then I shall get a serving bowl. How long did this take? We're on a couple of minutes and we've already Already made a cracking dish. Tails, I have to admit, I miss these cook alarms. Oh, I was saying, yeah, I think it was yesterday. If anyone is interested, let me know. I know it's a million miles off and you'll shoot me for saying it. But we're thinking of doing a cook along live for Christmas, aren't we? A nice little kind of Christmas thing. By the way, that's on filthy and covered in sauce. Um, yeah, Christmas, how to do your veg, how to make the stuffing, how to prepare the turkey, how to prepare the ham. Had to time everything to perfection. Haven't spoken to my wife yet. I presume she'd only be delighted if we were doing this on Christmas Day, but we might be doing it on Christmas Eve. But I might, you know, or maybe a little way, you already know what the hell you're on about. Well, maybe like a couple of things on the build up to Christmas. What do you think? We show people how to get things ready. Okay, so stirry, stirry, stirry. Get into that pot. Look at that. What an absolute cracking dish, does. Huh. See, that's the beauty of cooking. So you're saying I don't have your tomato paste? 
no problems. Put in a little bit of tomato puree, a little bit of sweet chili sauce maybe. Do the exact same thing. Or else make the paste. Or else you turn around and say, oh, I have a little bit of spinach in, like, in the bag. You know where you get these bags of spinach and rocket. I mean, but yeah, chuck that into it there as well, lovely. I have a courgette that's half going off. Bang it in. Smoked salmon would be wonderful. The choices are absolutely endless. Now, what do we need to do with this? Oh yeah, sir, I have cheese in. Cream into the fridge. Lovely, olive oil to where Mr. Olive Oil goes. Now, uh, wait, Thanksgiving in Ireland. Uh, Thanksgiving, when's Thanksgiving? That's the last Thursday in November, what is it? Uh, we don't really celebrate it to be honest, but uh, we leave that to you guys, but uh, okay. There's definitely a big kind of Thanksgiving thing goes on here as well, so each to their own. Look at that for a beautiful pasta dish. We're already in the circles, and I'm gonna turn off the heat, that'll stay fine. That's a huge uh, mistake Irish people make. We insist on eating our food when it's piping hot, and you can't taste the damn thing. So don't let it be absolutely too hot. You won't be able to taste any of the amazing flavors in it. Fantastic idea, can't we in Sinead? That's all we needed, all we needed was one person to say yes. But there's loads of people saying yes. Love, love, love your cook-offs, you make everything so easy. Jennifer, that's because it is that easy, you just saw me do with that, is just bang it all into a pot, hope for the best, say a prayer, close your eyes, and it all seems to work. What did you do with this? You got rid of all our comments. I know, I know. I know. Anyway. Uh, was cooking boring pasta and tuna for my lunch, now you have me adding mushrooms, onion, pesto, peppers, cream, spinach, Kira, I want to see a picture of that. That sounds amazing. Smells bad, can't wait for lunch. That's the beauty of food. It's so easy to make it better. That simple tip of sweating off the mushrooms until all the water is evaporated and the flavour is concentrated is absolutely, you, it's a different mushroom. It tastes absolutely different. Uh, uh, we'll love the Christmas cook-offs from uh, Jennifer. Can't wait for Christmas cook-along. So excited. Mary, don't get too excited because it's still about six months away, but hold on to it. But I tell you, uh, so much fun cooking with the kids. Thank you very much. Uh, lovely, just going to do this for lunch. Started looking at your cooking. Thanks, Seymour. Oh, starving. You see, I do need glasses. Well spotted, buddy. Well spotted. Uh, looks fabulous. Looks gorgeous. Would love it now. Uh, what would I use if I don't have sun-dried tomato stuff to put in it? Yeah, just, just a little bit of tomato puree instead. Or, um, or make it, when you do make the sun-dried tomato paste, but just use whatever. You can get a jar of pesto. You can actually get a jar of that sun-dried tomato pesto in its shop. Saves you making it. Um, Looks yummy, looks yummy, looks yummy. Anyway, serve up while we're talking shite. Let's go, Dills. So, we get a lovely bit of our mushroom pasta. I tell you now how prepared I am. I've absolutely, oh, I do have a bit of green we can put into it. See, I never thought of that. Look at this. What an amazing dish. Dills, pull me off a couple of stalks there. A nice one of basil and a nice one of uh, a little bit of pasta. Okay, so, uh, shit, I need the olive oil now. No, do you know what? We'd be inventive. A little bit of sesame oil. Over the top. <laughs> That's how it He's going pulling the whole plant out. What is that? A nice piece. Give me a, bring the basil plant over and do it yourself. Jeez. Nice little bit of sesame oil on top. Just to give it that little bit of flavour. If you have truffle oil, that's that part of it. The other part. <laughs> we are always looking for new staff here. I said get the, yeah, well, you brought me over, whatever that's supposed to be. Okay, so we've got our little bit of sesame oil, olive oil, walnut oil, truffle oil, whatever you want. A little bit of beautiful, freshly grated, this actually looks bloody gorgeous. Freshly grated parmesan on top, a little bit of basil. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. That's under 30, a little bit of basil, a little bit of greenery on top. What, Dill's pepper mill just to finish it off. Holy mother of macaroni, you pay a fortune for this in Gordon Ramsay's place and I showed you how to do it for pittance. Lovely little bit of the pepper mill. Dill's, it's been too long. It has been, Shall I get in and show them that. It has been too long because we need to do this crap more often. Yes. People miss us. I know. We miss people. Yes. This is like, how, how easy is that to cook along? Do you even remember what to say when we're closing? I don't go yet. Not yet. Hold it. Hold on to that thought. Hold on to that thought. Lads, what time is it? 20 past one. Brilliant lunch idea for you to cook along. It's going to be saved onto the page. You have me in stitches. Emer, thank you very much. I, it must have been you. What, you think you're bad? Well, I can't be me. That's it, Dills. I'm definitely only doing two portions, Shani. Uh, thanks, guys. That's your dinner sorted. Thanks, Caroline. Uh, Faulty Towers. Good one, Kira. I love it. Faulty Towers. I love it, Claire. Fantastic. Guys, boom. It's great to be back. I don't know when we're going to do this. Whenever we get a bit of time, we only love to do it because it's a great bit of crack. If we can do the mentions to get ready so you can all cook along and join with us, 
fantastic. But that stays up on the page. Now you know how to make it. Shawnee, close up so everybody knows what it looks like. Dills, yes. here is your moment. Are you ready? Shawnee, back to us. Okay? Now, it's been a while. Yeah. What do we say? It's goodbye from me. He remembered. And it's goodbye from him. See ya.